Hey everyone, this is Josh here, uh, back with Coachy Cave. Sorry it's been so long since I've done a video. Um, the reason for that is just there have been no statues that I've had on pre-order actually come available yet. So once everything gets sent to me from Prime 1 and Sideshow and Weta and Gaming Heads, I'll be able to do another video unboxing for you for something a bit newer. In the meantime, I figured I would do a quick unboxing video of a guy I just picked up. Um, bit of an older statue, but he is one of my favorite uh, X-Men characters, which is going past my only DC rule. <laughs> so um, I picked up Archangel. So definitely love the character of Archangel, and this um, statue here is done by Bowen Designs. So I've already just got the box out because I was having a little bit of tricky, a little bit of difficulty trying to get him out of the box. But now that he's out of the box, I just do a quick um, unboxing of him and just set him up and just do a quick, you know, view around the statue and see what you guys think if you, you know, if you like him. Um, I'm thinking of putting him, I'm not too sure if you can see, above this uh, display cabinet right here. So he's looming over the rest of my room here. Um, as you can see, I do have a bit of a new setup happening, looking to try and expand on that a little bit as well. So not too sure if you guys want to see a video of the new setup, then let me know in the comments um, and I'll do a quick video for that. So um yeah we'll get right in, right into it shall we all right so this is the box that he comes in actually i'll show you the box first it's nothing too uh, spectacular but for what it is i mean it shows archangel i know from all angles it says archangel up there so this is the x-force version um, and another one which is numbered, which is always nice to include a numbered um, edition on there. So he is number 231 out of 460. So I like it when they do a nice low numbers like that, so that helps. Makes it feel a bit extra, you know, a little bit more rare. So, alright, first thing when you get with the box, it says top, which is obviously a good thing because the wings are the first thing that you see in the box. Alright, so we'll put that aside for the moment and we'll get out Archangel himself. So I'll put this down here. And okay, so out of all the statues that I've unboxed, this guy is definitely one of the easiest ones because he comes pre-loaded on the stand himself. So as you can see, it just looks like a big black sort of naked man. Um, and yeah, I do like the base, it's just really simple but also at the same time it does have some intricacies to it um does look a little bit futuristic just coming up um with like this really dark gray gunmetal color um for the stand in terms of weight it's it's pretty hefty so it feels like you're holding it essentially feels like you're holding a trophy um i can imagine this is what some of the actors might feel like whenever they win an academy award and so um we'll just go through here I'll put him down here, and then we can see if we can get his wings on him. So, we'll get the wings up. So, these wings are just huge. They're metal, obviously, because he's an Archangel version as opposed to Angel. So, I did like the Angel Marquette that came out, um, or the Comic Cat, I believe it is. But they are incredibly hard to find. Now, so I figured I would just stick with Archangel, and he looks pretty badass himself, so I think I'm very happy with my decision to go with him. Alright, so those are his first two wings that come up. Really pretty simple there, and his second set of wings, they just go behind, I believe. So let's just try and get this in. Cool. There you go. <laughs> Nice and simple, probably one of the easiest unboxings that I've had to do. It's pretty much all there done. And so I did they do have another version of this that should come out. I'm just gonna go grab the camera now. And it is just a standard edition Archangel. I'm trying to remember the colors off the top of my head. I think the, it's like a blue or purple and red color. Wings are still the same. But as you can see, I've got a wide angle lens on and pretty much it takes up everything on that wide angle lens there. So it's just a really hard plastic that's there. So it's nothing like metal or anything like that. 
but it does look and feel legit. So I'll do a bit of a zoom into the face here, if I can get my camera to zoom. Might be able to see that okay. Paint job isn't too bad. It's a little bit duller than I thought it would be. I was looking for more shiny um, coat of paint on him, but I'm still pretty happy with it. He definitely would look great on top of that display cabinet over there. I'll just go around. If you get here, hopefully the lighting from our doors will not impact that too much. Which I think it might, so I'll just leave it to the front view here. I do like the way that his hands are kind of positioned, so one fist hand and one kind of stylized hand. The base itself has got a few... Let's see if I can zoom in. There we go. It's got a few kind of, I suppose, uh, mechanical looking um, sculptors in them. Just in the back there as well. Okay, awesome. So all in all, I'm pretty impressed with this guy. Um, he does, you know, he does come in a few variants, as I said before, but I think I prefer this one the most. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to, you know, comment, subscribe, like the video. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully there will be some new figures coming out. I anticipate May to be a very busy time. And we'll look forward to a few more Kojiko videos then. Great. Thanks, guys.